Hello, Statesman Nation. I'm Wade Steinlogge, and this is In the Locker Room, presented by Malcolm Lumber. Uh, on this week's show, our second uh, overall, hopefully we work the kinks out, uh, we will be recapping last week's uh, full gamut of events and previewing this week's contest. Uh, this week's uh, interviewees this week, our uh, special guest will be head track and field coach Alan Friesen and senior men's basketball player Omar Sherman. So we're going to get right into segment one as we preview last week's games. Last month, or to me, last Monday, starting out of the gate, William Penn taking on Grandview three-pointer by Brenda Pennington. Rebound here by Vashi Wabarocha, moving forward. And at the wing, Mackenzie, Mackenzie Peasley with the three-pointer, keeping it close. William Penn trails 24-21 at half. Coach Williamson's group, re, or, uh, group recapped, regrouped, excuse me, geez. and a uh, nice little bucket there by w uh, Vashi Wabarocha. That actually gave William Penn the lead. Now up four, going into the fourth quarter. Three-pointer by Kate Ilatello. William Penn runs away with it in the end. 59-41, 20 points and 12 rebounds for Wabarocha. Pennington added 12 points as well. And the team forced 22 overall turnovers. Great start to TP night. As the men, everybody's waiting with their uh, TP. William Penn didn't score on the first possession, but here's Omar Sherman making the white stuff fly here with that jumper. William Penn with the early lead, 36 seconds in, and the tradition continued in Penn Gymnasium. The advantage grew all the way to 12 points as A.B. Edwards knocks down the three-pointer from the wing. William Penn won the rebounding battle. Here, Q. Cager misses the shot, but Mario Manuel picking up the trash and putting it in. Moving the ball nicely here, your statesman. Daly down onto the baseline and three-pointer by Darius Wheeler. And your statesman pulling out to a 19-point advantage at that point. Still up 10 late. Steal by Shamar Bailey Dicoteau, and he finishes it off for the bucket. He ends up with 28 points. And William Penn takes the TP game 84-68 over Grandview. Again, Dicoteau with... Uh, 28 points overall, double-double for Sherman. William Penn shooting 44% from three-point land. The next night, we switch gears over to the wrestling mat, the home opener for your statesman. At 133 pounds, this is Darquell Pierre getting the uh, takedown here. Nice, solid start for him as he ends up taking a 6-2 lead after the first period. Here comes another takedown by Pierre. Finally finishing off the move right there at the end of the period. At the end, uh, going into the third period, he's leading 10 to three already and Pierre still pushing, gets a quick escape and goes right back on the offensive. Easy takedown there. He ends up taking the 133 pound matchup by a score of 18 to five. Now freshman Alex Pham at 184 pounds, getting a takedown. Now looking uh, for the reversal. And he'll take the uh, victory. Actually, I think this is, uh, we jumped ahead to uh, Sheldon Rodriguez, excuse me, at 197 pounds. This is the takedown by Sheldon Rodriguez, right out of the gate, gets the takedown, works for a while on his opponent. And finally, finally, we'll finish him off for the pin. Right there is a slap of the mat. But unfortunately, your statesman only pick up those three victories, falling to number 12, Missouri Valley, 36 to 13. Again, the highlight of the night, Sheldon Rodriguez at 197 pounds with the pin. Also, Pierre and Pham also taking victories. Thursday night, William Penn going up to Dubuque taking on the Clark Crusaders, a big uh, matchup for the women, and an early three-pointer here by Peasley. William Penn sprinting out to a 5-0 lead. 
continuing to pour it on. Here's a three-pointer by Brenda Pennington. Visitors wrapped up the first half, leading 36 to 30, including this bucket here by Jenna Santi. The defense was strong all night, the team forcing 29 turnovers overall, and one here by Autumn Voigt tipping it up and finally pulling it down. And another steal upcoming here, Vashi Wabarocha gets the steal on one end, and then getting herself in position down deep in the, in the block and putting it away. William Penn starting to pull away late here. And Kate Ilatello will cap it. A three-pointer here for the Statesman. She had eight points in the fourth, 23 overall. Six uh, total threes and one more right here. As your Statesman take the victory, 84-68. Again, Ilatello, 23 points, six three-pointers. Another nice uh, game from Wabarocha, 18 points. And Mackenzie Peasley, 18 as well. The men, this look to uh, last week, I made a mention that this was going to be an easy one for the Statesman, but Clark, a much improved team. Early bucket by uh, A.B. Edwards there. But this one was tough all night long. Handful of uh, changes. Steal by Q. Cager and the finish by Edwards. The pride would cut this down to five, but Tawan Johnson setting up at the top of the key will knock it down. The lead grew a little bit more here. William Penn at the, this juncture up 11 points will push it to 13. Nice uh, Mario Manuel running the court here. Edwards found him. Again, this one, uh, even though William Penn up 14 here would not be an easy one. One more bucket to go up 16, a late push by Clark, but William Penn would survive 78-72 on the road. Edwards with 18, Johnson 13, team would shoot 49% overall from the field. Moving to Saturday, a very, very biz busy day of action on Saturday, beginning with the Statesman wrestling team at Simpson. And unfortunately, not a great uh, outing there for uh, the Navy in gold. Sheldon Rodriguez picks up two wins. The team finishes 12th out of 17 overall. Rodriguez finished eighth uh, at his weight class. Also in action, uh, opening the season were your men's and women's track and field teams over in Davenport at the St. Ambrose Frigid B Classic and a great uh, outing for both the women and men, beginning with the women, Kayla Music in her collegiate debut, winning the 60 meter dash and breaking the school record in a time of 7.89 seconds. Shelby Williams got second and Elena Van Arsdale taking third in their respective throwing events. Again, a really nice start for the women's track and field team. Switching over on the men's side, they finish a spot ahead of the women, finishing second overall in a, a trio of first place finishes for the men. Finn Allade taking the uh, high jump at 6'4 and a quarter, tying for the high jump uh, title at 6'4 and a quarter. Tristan Elmore won the 200 meter dash in 22.77 seconds. And Sage Erisman was a shot put champion, 48 feet, two and three quarter inches. So a great uh, uh, start to the, the season for the men's and women's track and field teams. We'll be talking to Coach Friesen in a bit about that and the rest of the season. Also in action on last Saturday, we've got the women's and men's bowling teams and the women's uh, team, this being over in Addison, Illinois at the Warhawk Open, and the team finished fifth out of 24 teams overall in qualifying, would qualify for uh, bracket play, unfortunately would lose in the quarterfinals of bracket play, but Amber Oval topping the team with a 198.8 average, also in the top 30, Bailey Palmer and Nicole Kraft also uh, showing well for the statesman uh, under new leadership, Brandon Brooks. We'll eventually have him on the, on the uh, broadcast uh, in the upcoming weeks. The men's bowling team also finishing fifth, 25 teams overall for the Warhawk Open on the men's side, and a handful of uh, strong performances there led by Curtis Micah, 216.8 average. Again, this team, um, again with Nick Walker also in the top, uh, 20, or, excuse, top 25 overall individually, this team 
would also reach bracket play, but unfortunately would drop that uh, first round matchup and would have to go home just being a, a bracket um, participant. But again, very good outing there. Men's and women's basketball team concluding a very busy week, three games over the week. And unfortunately this one, this day didn't uh, belong to the Statesman. Tough one against Mid-American Nazarene. Uh, two at right now the top two teams in the, the heart but William Penn dropping to the Pioneers in women's action, 72 to 60. Kate Ilatello with 15 points and nine rebounds, Wabrocha with 15, and Shemaya Oliver had a nice game off the bench with 12, but unfortunately the women dropping their first game of the season. And the men, uh, unfortunately this was uh, a game that the team couldn't make up for uh, numerous injuries and in the end would fall to number 19, Mid-American Nazarene, 63-61, another battle of top 25 teams. Johnson with 14 points, Wheeler with 13, and Cager had all of his points, all 13 in the first half. Unfortunately, again, the state's been dropping their first game as well, but expect uh, both teams to be ranked very high um, when the poll comes out this week. And back to, sorry, back to, uh, action here as we are going to go to break for a minute. When we come back, we will have Coach Alan Friesen of the track and field teams. We'll talk again about the St. Ambrose Bridget B Classic and uh, talk about everything else track related when we come back in a minute in the locker room. William Penn University provided the opportunities for me to widen my potential after graduation. Right. I loved being involved with the women's golf team and was able to focus my last few years on internships at the YMCA. With all the opportunities at Penn, I hope to one day be working in a stadium for a pro team or doing the business side of sports, which I love. The opportunities are real. Your potential is unlimited. Discover your place at William Penn University. You built a castle so that the prince and princess can live happily ever after. You brought the sunshine to shine upon the whole family's future. But when the sun hides behind the clouds, State Farm can help. We put the life back in life insurance to protect your family's finances, not only in the future, but today. Call your State Farm agent Kelly Style in Oskaloosa today. What if there was a program where I could express my individuality? Create my visions get the hands-on learning that I need. A program where I can become something greater. Become something bigger. Hello everyone, this is Tyler Van Weldon from Malcolm Lumber in Grinnell, Montezuma, and Oskaloosa. Malcolm Lumber is your DIY headquarters and we would love to help you with any projects you want to tackle. Bring us your plans, let our staff help you. We will get you the right materials, correct tools, and the support you need to make that project come out perfect. And now we have a full-time designer for that new kitchen and bath. Stop in and say hello at any of our three store locations or call to make an appointment. Hello, Statesman Nation. We're back here for segment two, one of my favorite uh, segments. Unfortunately, student athletes are going to trump you every day, <laughs> Coach. But uh, we all have uh, Coach Alan Friesen here for the next few minutes as we talk track and field. And an exciting start there for the season, Coach. Uh, we'll, we'll be talking about that. Um, you are in your ninth season. Um, how's this team looking? Uh, this team, I, uh, we're very excited about this team. I, I think overall, uh, the class of both men and women on the freshman level, we're very excited about, you know, the kids that we brought in uh, and, based, and they really exceeded kind of what we expected in the meet, uh, did some great things. So, yeah. um, you know, as we talked about earlier, uh, you know, it's kind of bittersweet. We have a really good meet right. and then we've got three weeks off. So, yeah. uh, and so, but you know, excited. We did a lot of great things and I'm really happy with where we're at right now. Definitely. Um, you know, on a small meet, uh, you know, everybody, everybody places and that's, and that's awesome. You know, everybody gets, gets to show that, hey, we're all part of that, or part of all those points and everything. Um, let's highlight a few of those individuals. Let's talk about the men's side first, um, you know, just because they, they had a little bit higher, yeah. higher finish. But, um, you know, you get exactly what you're expecting to get out of uh, Tristan Elmore in the 200, 
exactly what you expect to get out of uh, Finn Allaid in the high jump. Tristan also right there at six four and yeah, a quarter yeah. just came into a different he, spot, hence why he got yeah. third. Uh, but maybe the surprise uh, in the throw is Sage Erisman. I knew you expected him to be improved, but through a, a huge number. I mean, huge, he's really close to getting huge qualified. PR. I think it was almost a four foot PR. Yeah. Uh, and when, when we looked at it, yeah, he was a huge surprise. Uh, and I think it even surprised himself uh, at the meet because when they announced the when they announced the distance, right. he was like he he asked him again if yeah, what it like, was. And I even thought, wow, that was that right. was pretty good. But yeah, Sage did well. I was really impressed with our jumpers, mm -hmm. uh, like our long and triple jumpers. I thought they did very, very well for their first meet right. uh, and not having a whole lot of time to use the pit to practice exactly. in. And they did very, very well, you know, and what was really nice was our, our you know, our distance crew really showed up and did very well. I mean, uh, you know, we've always been kind of had just a few kids in those events, but we had a lot of kids in right. those events. And a lot of them really did well, showed up, had some huge PRs. Yeah. Uh, so it was a really, on the men's side, it was a good team effort. And right. we weren't that far behind St. Ambrose, which is a really good team. Normally top 25 yeah. team. Yeah. So I thought, you know, we, we ran with them most of the meet. Right. And I was pretty, pre pretty pleased with where we were at. Definitely. Um, let's switch over to the, the women's side. Uh, Kayla Music coming right out of the gate uh, as a freshman. And she wins a 60. And not only wins a 60, but breaks the school record. Um, and she's only, I think, like point zero yeah, something away from qualifying. She's yeah, right there. She's right so. there to qualify. And, you know, I told you earlier that Kayla Music would be would make Asia Lauder much better. And, yeah. you know, Asia didn't run the final because she was in the long jump right. finals. So she kind of missed that race because she really wanted to work on the long jump. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, I think Kayla, like I said, Kayla's yeah. going to do great things. And uh, I can't wait to see her when she gets in the 200. Right. So. Yeah, really impressed with uh, our our young ladies in the sprints because we had, and we normally don't have, we had three girls in the finals in the sprints, and right. generally we don't have that, so yeah. it was nice. Yeah. Again, I mean, you bring in a, they always say, if you bring in somebody to build competition and, you know, Im improve the overall team, that's what you're looking for. It doesn't yeah. mean it always happens, but it obviously it, did it on It did on in Saturday. this case. Yeah. I think uh, everybody really challenged everybody in, in every event that we had in, and uh, I was really pleased with uh, how, how, how things turned out for our teams. Right, definitely. Um, moving forward, again, you've got, unfortunately, a long break, and everybody does. So it's not like it's anything exclusive to William no. Penn that no. only we take a few weeks yeah. off. But what are, I guess, some of the uh, key things that you're talking to your athletes about over the next three weeks? Hey, you know, we've got something really good here. Let's not blow it. Well, what I, told, what I told them yesterday w was this, is you, you guys had a great start. Uh, we did a lot of great things, uh, but w with this break coming up, we have our last official practice today mm -hmm. uh, because of finals. But the key thing is to be doing something over the break. You know, the coaches will have workouts and they'll have them modified for kids that won't be able mm -hmm. to get into, into a track, but right. some kids will be able to, like our kids that are in Texas, will be able to get outside. Yeah. But to you know, make sure they're in the weight room and they're doing stuff and not just sitting around doing nothing because yeah. that's, you know, we're gonna end up, we need to build on up what, what we've done so far and not start over when you definitely. get back. Yeah, so. definitely. Um, let's just talk real briefly, overall expectations. I mean, you said this team has, and you said many times, this team has uh, on both sides, a lot of talent and a lot of potential to do really, really well. Um, I guess, what are the expectations, especially let's just talk indoor at this point, but you know. Well, what, the what think? I think the expectations are, are for me uh, are as I, I, I think the, kid, the guy on the guy side, uh, we have a chance to win it. And right. I, I truly, truly believe that. On the girl side, I truly believe we can be in the top three. Yeah. I think with the talent we have, uh, I know I'm setting that bar pretty high, uh, but if, I mean, if you look at what we've done and the talent we have, I truly believe we can get that done. And, you know, the girls haven't been in the top three in maybe four or five years. So this will be, yeah, right. uh, this will be a huge, and, and well, indoors, I don't think that we've ever been in the top yeah. three uh, since I've been here. But so this is a huge goal that I've mm -hmm. set, you know, not only for uh, myself and the coaching staff, but the kids as well. Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks, Coach, for, yeah. for sitting down. Uh, best of luck. I know this is only one meet out of roughly eight, nine, ten, ten whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, but and it's a very, very quick season, especially when you guys get right <laughs> back, and then it's just week after week after week. And 
Um, but I guess you probably are not have it any other way. Mom, no, I, yeah, right here, right after, we're so. finally here. So yeah. now let's get rolling. Exactly. Yeah. Once again, that's Coach Alan Friesen of the track and field teams. Uh, thank him for coming in. Wish him the best of luck as the season progresses. Moving into the next segment, as we take a break, we'll come back and we'll have Omar Sherman, senior men's basketball player from William Penn. William Penn University provided the opportunities for me to widen my potential after graduation. I loved being involved with the women's golf team and was able to focus my last few years on internships at the YMCA. With all the opportunities at Penn, I hope to one day be working in a stadium for a pro team or doing the business side of sports, which I love. The opportunities are real. Your potential is unlimited. Discover your place at William Penn University. You built a castle so that the prince and princess can live happily ever after. You brought the sunshine to shine upon the whole family's future. But when the sun hides behind the clouds, State Farm can help. We put the life back in life insurance to protect your family's finances, not only in the future, but today. Call your State Farm agent, Kelly Style in Oskaloosa today. What if there was a program where I could express my individuality, create my visions, get the hands-on learning that I need, a program where I could become something greater, become something bigger. Hello everyone, this is Tyler Van Weldon from Malcolm Lumber in Grinnell, Montezuma, and Oskaloosa. Malcolm Lumber is your DIY headquarters and we would love to help you with any projects you want to tackle. Bring us your plans, let our staff help you. We will get you the right materials, correct tools, and the support you need to make that project come out perfect. And now we have a full-time designer for that new kitchen and bath. Stop in and say hello at any of our three store locations or call to make an appointment. Welcome back, Statesman Nation. We are here with Omar Sherman, senior men's basketball player out of Dallas, Texas. Uh, went to uh, Duncanville High School and uh, has had a, a storied career coming into um, his senior year here at William Penn. Some uh, D1 action, but we're looking to uh, give him a great ending to his collegiate career um, and uh, give him a national title, as you're seeing on the screen here, um, having a, a tremendous season. Um, you are, oh, 18 points per game, 8.4 rebounds, 69% shooting from the field. You've been a player of the week. So um, you've, been, you've been doing your job, man. Uh, I'm sure Coach Henry said coming in, you've got A, B, C in, to do, and I'm sure you've been covering A, B, and C. But uh, before we talk about that, let's just talk about the overall success of the team. Uh, you guys are having a, a great, great season so far. Um, let's talk about it a little bit. Um, season's been going pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with the team's success. Um, we're pretty happy. Right. Uh, and um, I feel like it's going to be a successful year. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It, it's kind of, I mean, with so many new individuals, I think the expectations for William Penn basketball are always just high because of what uh, has been built in the past. But um, any time that we're starting anew with so many new individuals, I know it's a little... Uh, there's a lot of anxiety for yeah. Statesman Nation, uh, especially, and I'm sure for the coaching staff, they're trying to figure yeah. how does everybody fit into the picture. Uh, talk as a, you know, inside the bubble person, you talk about how everybody's gelling and how everybody's just making it work, even though you guys are, almost all of you guys are new to the system. Yeah, um, it's pretty, it's kind of a difficult process a little bit. Right. Um, you know, it's a lot of practice time and a lot of, uh, um, let's say, a, team time uh, right. off the court definitely um but uh i feel like we're doing pretty good as uh gelling for everybody being their first year here or, or for a, cu a couple of us so um you know especially me being my first year here mm -hmm. so it's, it's a little different but um you know it's kind of the guys made it a little easy right. so you know um talk little off court stuff what are you what are you guys doing i'm sure you're you're fortnighting it up and all that that fun uh, yeah. stuff <laughs> definitely video games for sure right um fortnight 2K, whatever. Um, we just like to hang out with each other. Yeah. Um, you know, they keep good company. They're funny. Uh, yeah. We always tell jokes on each other. Right. 
So, uh, yeah, these are a good group of guys. And yeah. I like them. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, you know, with so many new individuals and <clears throat> all the different personalities, I, I, considering all of that, mm -hmm. I still feel like you guys are a really tight group, mm -hmm. that you guys are all working really well for that one mission. And that mm -hmm. one mission is just win ball games. Yeah. Wherever that leads you, it doesn't, you know, I, I joked with Coach Henry last week that, you know, 37 and 0 is mm -hmm. the goal and everything. Right. Yeah. And, you know, okay, that's not going to happen now, but it doesn't have to happen. And the end goal is just to, to win as many games as possible, be as successful as possible. So okay. moving, I guess, uh, forward here, let's talk about Peru State a little bit, and then we can talk about the overall season. But Peru State, uh, I'm not sure how much you guys have, have talked about them yet, just coming off of, you know, your game against mid -Am. But what are they going to bring, um, you know, to the table that you guys are going to have to work around? Um, they're going to definitely be intense. Yeah. Um, we're gonna have to bring our intensity. We're gonna have to bring our and match their effort. Yeah. Um, it's very, it's a very important game. Um, obviously, you know, with uh, a lot of things going that happened last year, and yeah. um, we really want to win this game. Um, personally, I want to win this game right. too because you know, Peru State is a pretty good team. Yeah. And uh, you know, we're just really looking forward to it, and uh, we're just looking forward to the matchup, and you know, we just want to definitely, you know, be on the right side of the outcome, you know of the game so for sure yeah. real briefly uh we talked about the team aspect but talk about your own individual where you know what where do you fit in the, in the puzzle i mean you're a double double machine basically but uh, you know what's coach looking for you to do um coach just wants me to be aggressive um he just wants me to be a leader and uh just wants me to play give him a uh, hundred percent all the time and that's what i try to do um i try my best to be a leader um not always vocal all the time, but that's something I'm working on. Right. And, um, you know, obviously the guys are helping me out with that too. Um, but yeah, as far as my, my role, he just wants me to be aggressive and just play as hard as I can and yeah. lead everybody. Right, definitely. Um, Coach Henry won't say it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to talk about national title, any of that stuff, but you individually, what have you guys been talking about? Just final thing. Um, Expectations this year. What do you want to do? Uh, expectations definitely want to win the national title, right. um, but we're not completely focused on that right now. We're just hope we just want to win games, yeah. and we're gonna take every game one at a time. And uh, when we get to that point, we will execute and we will, you know, get the championship. So, there you, you know, um, hopefully that does happen. But if it doesn't, you know, I'll still be proud of my team, and you know, we just want to have a great season. Yeah. So. Well. There's no question you guys are going to have a great season. Where you land, you know, time will tell. But best of luck to you, Omar. Uh, Omar Sherman, once again, senior men's basketball player from Dallas, Texas. Appreciate his time. And, uh, again, he will be uh, busy the rest of the season. Peru State coming up this week. And we'll talk about that game. And, uh, unfortunately, a very light week for the Statesmen as they are in finals week and uh, getting ready to finish off the fall semester. We'll be back in a minute. You're in the locker room. William Penn University provided the opportunities for me to widen my potential after graduation. I loved being involved with the women's golf team and was able to focus my last few years on internships at the YMCA. With all the opportunities at Penn, I hope to one day be working in a stadium for a pro team or doing the business side of sports, which I love. The opportunities are real. Your potential is unlimited. Discover your place at William Penn University. You built a castle so that the prince and princess can live happily ever after. You brought the sunshine to shine upon the whole family's future. But when the sun hides behind the clouds, State Farm can help. We put the life back in life insurance to protect your family's finances, not only in the future, but today. Call your State Farm agent, Kelly Style in Oskaloosa today What if there was a program where I could express my individuality, create my visions, get the hands-on learning that I need, a program where I could become something greater, become something bigger.
Hello everyone, this is Tyler Van Weldon from Malcolm Lumber in Grinnell, Montezuma, and Oskaloosa. Malcolm Lumber is your DIY headquarters and we would love to help you with any projects you want to tackle. Bring us your plans, let our staff help you. We will get you the right materials, correct tools, and the support you need to make that project come out perfect. And now we have a full-time designer for that new kitchen and bath. Stop in and say hello at any of our three store locations or call to make an appointment. Welcome back, Statesman Nation. You're in the locker room, and as we wrap up this week's segment, we are going to preview uh, a very light week here um, at William Penn. Uh, just a few games um, as we're in finals week, and everybody needs to be concentrated on uh, their grades and, and all of their final tests anyhow. So we will get to here in this final segment, and we'll talk about the games. Beginning uh, Tuesday night, William Penn will go down to Kansas to take on uh, Baker. That'll be a, a big matchup for the Statesman, uh, one and one overall and 0 and one in uh, heart action. Uh, Baker, number nine overall in the nation, and uh, it's gonna be a big test for the Statesman. The only other action will be coming up on Saturday, big double header for the men's and women's basketball teams. They'll be at home one final time before uh, the Christmas break, the holiday break. Uh, First game, William Penn taking on Peru State, eight and one overall. Uh, Peru State just one and seven. William Penn has dominated this uh, uh, series as of late. Uh, expect, I'm not gonna say anything, but th this uh, could be a, a good one for William Penn. On the men's side, this is the one that Omar had alluded to and will be a big one. Peru State likely coming into uh, this uh, week's polls should probably be ranked in the top 25. William Penn has had uh, the Bobcats numbers as of late, but it has been a very fiery uh, contested series as of late. Uh, expect another good one on Saturday afternoon as the Bobcats come to town. So again, very light week coming up after a very busy week going into finals week, but uh, the Statesmen will be ready. They'll knock out all their tests and uh, have a, a, a lot of uh, 4.0s across the board, hopefully. But uh, as they're moving forward, we appreciate everyone uh, tuning in to In the Locker Room as we uh, sign off. William Penn, again, thank you for, for watching. Happy holidays and go Statesman.